good morning students in the last two classes we have learned two activities let us discuss two more activities in today's class first activity is the importance of saliva saliva also it digests the starch starch that is the form of carbohydrate that we take in in our nutritional process so out of this starch that that is taken in in our food some amount of starch will be digested by salivary amylase how can we prove it how can we prove it prepare one starch solution starch solution has to be prepared right 1% starch solution 1% starch solution has to be prepared take two test tubes take two test tubes and mark them mark them as a and b mark them as a and b right take 1 ml of the above 1% starch solution 1% starch solution in each test tube each test tube so in test tube a we are taking 1 ml of start solution 1 ml of 1 ml of 1% start solution in test tube b also we are taking 1 ml of 1% starch solution right now what are you going to do to test tube a to to only test tube a to only test tube a add 1 ml of saliva add 1 ml of saliva only test tube a add 1 ml of saliva and do not add anything to test tube b leave this leave both the test tubes 20 to 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes undisturbed and disturbed you both the test tubes and disturbed now after 20 to 30 minutes after after 20 to 30 minutes add few drops 
of iodine solution few drops of iodine solution to both test tubes both test tubes you can see you can see blue black color formation color formation blue black color formation in test tube b and no such color formation in test tube a why it is because in test tube a you have added saliva which has digested that starch if starch is present then it will react with iodine solution and it will give blue black coloration as starch was already digested the formed starch is broken down into glucose amylose etc monosaccharides which will not react with iodine solution to form blue black color whereas in test tube b you did not add any saliva so that 1% starch solution it was not digested it was it was present in intact and when iodine solution is added to it starch which was present intact in test tube b will react with iodine solution and form blue black coloration this proves that this proves that starch will be digested by salivary amylase or thialin to some extent in our oral cavity this is what third activity of our chapter let us move to the next activity okay that is more carbon dioxide is present more carbon dioxide is present in our exhaled air than in atmospheric air our exhaled air contains more carbon dioxide than the atmospheric air how to prove that our exhaled air contains more carbon dioxide than in atmospheric air activity to prove the presence of more concentration of more concentration of carbon dioxide in our exhaled air than in atmospheric air atmospheric so we are going to conduct an activity that proves there is more concentration of carbon dioxide in our exhaled air than in atmospheric air for that what are we going to do
prepare some lime water in some vessel and take freshly prepared lime water in a test tube take freshly prepared lime water in a test tube freshly prepared lime water in a test tube so we are taking a freshly prepared lime water in a test tube this is lime water what are you doing you are taking a star like thing you are taking a straw like thing and using your mouth using your mouth Or blowing air, blow air, blow air through this, through this lime water by your mouth. That means this is exhaled air, exhaled air, right? Observe for some time. After note the time period that it takes that the lime what. that it takes for the lime water for the lime water to turn the lime water to turn milky white milky white so well, noting the time for the lime water to turn milky white then take another I mean take same quantity of lime water take same quantity of lime water in another test tube same quantity of freshly prepared lime water freshly prepared lime water in another test tube freshly prepared lime water you are taking into another test tube same quantity of freshly freshly prepared lime water into another test tube take same quantity of freshly prepared lime water into another test tube this time 
what you are doing don't blow the air into this lime water by your mouth instead take a empty syringe take an empty syringe okay and using this syringe using this syringe syringe jar is also called which carry which will be having a piston above it take an empty syringe with that you blow the air so from where you are blowing the air which air you are blowing into that lime water blow the air blow the atmospheric air into this lime water through a syringe by a syringe not through a syringe by a syringe by a syringe or instead of blowing let us use pass pass the atmospheric air into this lime water by using by using a syringe syringe or pitch carry now in the same way note the time period note the time period that it takes that it takes for the lime water to turn milky white to turn milky white are these both the timings same or different they will be different which time period will be less means in which attempt the lime water is turning into milky white faster when you blow the air through your mouth or when you pass the atmospheric air using a syringe when lime water sorry turns turns milky white milky white faster with our exhaled air than with atmospheric air we all know that lime water turns into milky white by carbon dioxide if we pump more carbon dioxide the lime water turns milky white faster if we pumps less carbon dioxide the lime water turns milky white slowly so in atmospheric air the concentration of carbon dioxide is lesser whereas in our exhaled air carbon concentration of carbon dioxide is more why in our exhaled air carbon dioxide concentration is more because our exhaled air is bringing the released carbon dioxide from the body tissue cells because of respiration because of cellular respiration carbon dioxide and metabolic water is released 
metabolic water goes to excretory system whereas this carbon dioxide is released out in the form of exhaled air so only exhaled air contains more carbon dioxide and it converts the lime water into milky white faster than atmospheric air which contains less carbon dioxide this is how we have proved that there is more concentration of carbon dioxide in our exhaled air than in atmospheric air thank you